Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user 9FQ in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending this in. But that very do, as always, let's get into their system. So the system is called MG-1, so let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us. Here it is. Okay, here we go. Right. Ooh, okay, I like the way this has been laid out. Okay, right, so here it is. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so MG1 is a white-ish green main sequence star nicknamed Atlas after the god that held up the world. MG stands for Mining Guild. Ever since Home One's voyage to Varana, the need for resources has increased since more voyages are planned to make the ships. This is where the Mining Guild was established and sent to this star named MG-1 and coined Atlas by the workers in the system. They coined it Atlas due to how it holds up the human race's shipbuilding. It is green in colour due to the dumping of chemicals into the star. The system can be played, but I recommend you don't play it for some stuff because happened to it ruin the orbits. Okay. So, oh, that's an interesting asteroid belt there. They have all uh, perfectly equal ring particles apart. Quite cool. Right, so the first of the planets, we've got Rayleigh here. The first planet in the Atlas system. Temperature is tidally locked to its star. The day side is around 1,000 degrees on average, and the night side is 100 degrees. Robots are used to mine on this planet. It has an atmosphere of, Ar I'm guessing it means Argon and water. Due to its proximity to the star, it has no moons. Or Aragon. I'm sure that means Argon. Right, so there it is. Of course, you've got the lights behind. Hot on the face side, as you can see, the tidy lock effect there. But even in the night time, like you said, it's still 100 odd degrees. It's still pretty hot. Coldest goes to minus 87 in the really cold... I'm guessing the, the deep dark craters, which is still very warm. But there it is. Very nice. So it's obviously got that ring particle around it. I like that. Okay, next up we're heading to Look. Luck. Look. Over here. And it's looking very, very hot in the spicy. A hellish world like Venus, but worse. Temperature is a thousand degrees at its lowest. No missions have been planned to this world due to its temperature. So there you go. Let's have a little look underneath there. I think we need to see what's going on here. There it is. Yes. So, a scorching atmosphere for sure. If we look on the actual... Oh, yeah. That's pretty warm. Okay, so there you go. Next up, we've got Nyx over here. Nyx is a nitrogen-rich planet, useful for food production on Terra Prime. Nyx 1, a asteroid orbiting close, and Nyx 2 in a longer orbit. So, there they are there. Small little guys. Looking good. Let's turn off the hospital zone. Uh, and then the second one there. Very nice indeed. Next up, we've got Terra Prime. Terry Prime. Over here. There's also an orbital station. Mackenzie Orbital Station. It's a circular orb. Uh, so the next planet, the Earth like world by the looks of things. There it is. The Earth like planet in the system. A lot more bigger than Earth. It originally only had ocean life that was seeded with life by the mining guild. Due to its moons, the moons are suitable for the production of spaceships and rocket fuel. Workers live on Terra for long periods before being sent off to other worlds. Production also occurs on this planet. Very nice. Got some nice big city lights on it as well. Excellent. So, first of the moons, Terra Prime 1. It's got a little uh, teleport very or transport very close to it. See a big load of city lights on it as well. Is an airless moon suitable for the launching of rockets and production of big spaceships. Most ships to travel within the galaxy are made here. Nice. We've got MG Home. Which is a very mysterious object. Okay. And then this one here. Ob Obvincia. Over here, it's got a lot of satellites around it as well. Very nice. Meaning factory in Latin is where spaceships that travel within the system are made. Due to the low gravity, bigger and better ships can be produced here. And due to its proximity to MG home ship. Oh, so the MG... Okay, that's a ship thing. Okay. Very nice. So there it is. MG home. It's a vessel of some kind. And then we have Prime Free over here. Life does exist on this moon, but Corporation Greedy has kept it a secret. Using its water for rocket fuel, steeding its oceans and people living there. Woohoo. Not good. Yeah, it's also got a probe as well. Nice. Next up, we're heading to Fawn. Which is here. Fawn is a cold, ammonia-rich planet, useful for purification of water on Terra Prime. Fawn 1, an asteroid orbiting close, and Fawn 2, an inclined orbit of 32.7 degrees, which is also a longer orbit. 
Got a little an eclipse going on there at the moment. There you go. Hey hey. Then secondary over here. There he is. Nice. Next up we're heading to Minane. Minina. It's a grey and green planet with a sulfur dioxide atmosphere. It's cold on this planet and the lights used are red. It is mined for its iron. There you go. It's got two of those. Very nice. Cool. Now into the outer solar system. So we're heading to Horta. Straight up with the gas giants. Very nice. Okay. Long thought to be the only inner planet even in the system until Mackenzie discovered the existence of the inner planetary bodies and Elysium. Uh, Hephaestus, for being so far away and big, could be seen from Earth. I've completely butchered this saying that. I do apologise. Um, so we've got another transport thing there. Uh, and then we've got the moons. So Aura Nizi. An exomoon long enough, or long thought to not exist due to the rival system. Due to its size, it's thought to have existed through... It has a methane atmosphere. And then secondary, we've got Mackenzie here. The first ever discovered exomoon discovered by Mackenzie due to the increase in methane during observations of Porter. Oranizi was theorized to exist due to methane within the atmosphere of Mackenzie, not being enough for the shifts that were different spikes at different times. Nice. We've got another one over here. Fittinzi. Exomoon with high levels of sulfur dioxide, nothing remarkable. It will be mined for its resources and most likely destroyed within the next centuries. Hoo hoo! And then next up, we've got Mole, the last of the moons. An exomoon with water vapor as an atmosphere. It's quite unknown how it acquired the water. It will be used for study by scientists. There you go. Nice. So next up, we're heading to. Uh, where are we? So... Uh, where are we? So we just did. We did mole, didn't we? Okay, so... I thought we did Horta as well, didn't we? The Horta's the... Oh, yeah, hang on, so I'm just being a weirdo. <laughs> so, we done mole. Okay, so next I went to Elysium. That's it, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Did not happen there. Right, so Elysium. A planet described by Mackenzie as well. Thought to be a dominant gas giant till the discovery that uh, Herpestus was a gas giant demoted to an ice giant and its mo name means paradise due to its many moons with atmospheres. So we've got uh, these guys here. It's got Eubene, small moon. We've got Dolos here, Dolos. Next moon that looked like it has vast oceans while in reality doesn't uh, name Dolos due to this. Dolos being a trickster god. Ah, okay. We have Mole here. It's another small one. We've got Akka. Nothing interesting on this moon methane atmosphere. There you go. So we've got Oriti, also a little asteroid, a little asteroid. I like how he's colour-coded the uh, ones of interest. That's always a nice little extra touch. It's an X-Moon with nitrogen as an atmosphere. It's quite small as well. Got a good old fittiness in here, the most common random generated name. Always good to see those around. Um, I burst you over here. A water world with chances of possible life. A mission has been sent here before it's mined as trip for rocket fuel to see if life could have existed here. So now we're heading to trans Elysium objects, so... Is that the last of the main planets then? We're going further out. There's a fragment there of some kind. What's that? Okay. Right, so now we're heading to Ulster over here. Looks like the orbit's a little more uh, a little more ruined over here. Very orange. A lonely methane world it has an even li land to liquid ratio or a ratio, sorry, and an ammonia atmosphere. So kind of like a Titan analog in here with the orange. Looking good. But different atmosphere there. Inequil over here, which next one there. A dwarf planet due to its elliptical orbit atmosphere oh, on elliptical orbit. Its atmosphere has a dense sulfuric one and it has two rings around it. It is unknown why its orbit takes so long and why it's so elliptical. So there you go. Uh, next up we're heading to uh, Iris. Where's Iris? Is it over here somewhere? There's a lot of name tags around here. Anything? No? No. Where is it? Iris. I R I. It doesn't exist. Or does it? Am I just being. <laughs> oh. We did it in a quill, which are gone wild. Interesting. 
So we went to Uster, didn't we? Was it, was it, oh, was it the moon of that? No. So where's that inner quill one? Oh, I'm a little confused. I'm guessing Iris is the moon, isn't it? We didn't go over it. No, that's inner quill one. I'm guessing that's what, I'm guessing that's Iris as well. Interesting. Anyway, trans, uh, Hes Faestus objects. Uh, so, got the planet itself. Big gas giant here. Uh, a Tartuan world, and is also the dominant gas giant in the system. It's a mystery of how it got so far out. Its name is one of a greedy god for all of the moons it has captured. Nice touch. So we've got Lilat here. Ammonia rich exomoon with black liquid bonds of ammonia. It is blue, black in colour, and the first exomoon found in orbit around it. Okay. Robius. Well, quite a lot of moons, isn't there? Uh, Robius is over here. It's beige colour moon with a rich atmosphere containing a wide range of elements like liquid methane is present on this exo moon. Lovely. So there you go. Looking good. A lot of moons in there as well. There's the highlights. Okay. Next up, we're heading to Sitta. Over here. A tier and black world in orbit of 467 years. It's an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and water vapour. You can breathe on world, so mining is occurring here, as well as mining two asteroid moons. It's four degrees, uh, not too cold, could be worse. That's a little moon as well, Nasta. And Akam, two asteroids. Okay. It's done Sitta. Next up we've got Kenza, which is the blue one there. Ooh, nice. Nice colour. It's a planet, very similar mass in Earth. It is devoid of life, and there have been missions to it. It is named after Mackenzie, but not discovered by her. Its moons, a moon of Mortis, is the most interesting part of the system. It is why it's named in her honour. Okay. There's Mortis. Home to an alien race, but they built structures some gods. On the world, it is foreign to us humans, but we can breathe here. There are liquid oceans. It is very hot, though, but the alien life is nowhere to be found anymore. Is it a mystery to where they went? Hey, okay. Next up we've got Portas. Over here. Barney orbit with its moon Orta. Very close together, aren't they? Wow we. Okay. Then we have Curio. I've just noticed there's a bit of hidden text. What is that? Oh, I just saw something pop up there. A nice cover moon might contain life, having black spots, maybe those could be the signs of life. Okay. And then lastly, Lower Sippy, Sippy, over here. Last of the objects. Blue and yellow moon with liquid hydrogen, which is in the atmosphere. And what's the hidden text? Check out this system. Check out System 309 for Varanian system. Neptunia has a video. Discord is 9FQ. System 309. Oh, so I did a previous um, system of theirs, Varunian. Yeah, I do remember 9FQ. We've definitely done one of them before. So episode 309 it was. Quite a while back now, wasn't it? <laughs> So there we are. I believe that's everything. Yes. So let's uh, any anything hidden out. Sometimes there's some mysteries. Uh, right. So here we go. There's your lineup. Oh, let's get rid of the asteroid particles. So there you go. Quite a nice lineup actually. I was quite intrigued actually. Some interesting uh, stuff between all these. So I do like that purple and red two tone there. That's nice. I did like this one as well. Mortis. Oh, that looked quite cool. Yeah. So there you go. And then there's the uh, rest of the lineup down there. Very very nice indeed. Not too over the top. I like it. There's the Earth like world. Let's check its stats actually. How large was it? It's a lot bigger, wasn't it? Stats down there. Yeah, okay. 83 and 3. Cool. But yeah, there we go. So with that all sun done, everyone. Again, a massive thank you to the creator, 9FQ, for sending this in. Hope you all enjoyed it as well. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as well. If you like this video, let's see if we go over 100 likes on today's video as well, guys. And also subscribe more and help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. But that will send it everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.